Hello all, this is the continuation of bacterial morphology in anatomy and today we will be discussing about bacterial flagella. Bacterial flagella. So bacterial flagella is present in motile bacteria except spirochetes. We can see one or more unbranched long sinus filaments. And this bacterial flagella are the organs of locomotion. It has three major parts, filament, hook, basal body. Filament is present external to the cell and connected to the hook at the cell surface. Moving on to the structure of bacterial flagella, hook basal body portion is enveloped in the cell envelope. The hook and basal body are antigenically different. Mechanical detachment of the filament does not impair the viability of bacteria. Usually, the bacterial flagella is 3 to 20 micrometer in length and 0 0.01 to 0 0.013 micrometer in diameter and it terminates in square tip. The wavelength and thickness of the bacterial flagella are the characteristics of each species. But some bacteria exhibit biplicity, that is, the flagella of two different wavelengths will be present within a same bacteria. Usually the bacterial flagella is made of protein which is called as flagellin and this protein is very similar to keratin or myosin. The flagella of different genera have same chemical composition but they differ in the antigenicity. The flagella of antigens are where they produce very specific antibodies in high tires. The flagellar antigens produce very specific antibodies in high titers. The flagellar antibodies are not protected. They are useful in zero diagnosis. The presence or absence of flagella, its number, its arrangement are the characteristics of different genera. They are arranged in various methods. Uh, their arrangements can be first one is peritricus. In peritricus arrangement, the flagella may be arranged all around the cell. Uh, example in typhoid bacilli. Or sometimes it may, be, it may be situated at one or both ends of the cell. That is polar type. In polar type, uh, we have monotricus, amphitricus, lophotricus and amphilophotricus. The monotricus type is where the flagella is, the polar flagella may be single. Example in cholera vibrio and it may be present, at, present in tufts uh, as in lophotricus and in amphitricus the flagella will be present at both poles. In amphilophotricus tufts of flagella, flagella will be present at both the ends. Next is how we demonstrate bacterial flagella. Usually, flagella are less than 0.02 micrometer in thickness and hence beyond the limits of resolution of the light microscope. So, they may in some instances be seen under dark ground illumination. They can be visualized by special staining techniques that is by more bending. Uh, that is, we will increase the thickness by more bending. Then we can demonstrate it by electron microscopy. Uh, then moving on to the motility of bacterial flagella. Due to the difficulty of demonstrating flagella directly, their presence is usually inferred from the motility of bacteria. Motility can be observed by noting the spreading type of growth, spreading type of growth on a semi-solid agar medium. Under the microscope, active motility has to be differentiated from the passive movements of the cells like uh, Brownian movement, uh, uh, movement due to air currents, etc. Usually, the bacterial motility may range from slow, stately motion as we see in peritricate flagella to darting movement uh, which is present in the polar flagellas. They move uh, at a speed of 200 micrometer per second. That's all about bacterial flagella. Thank you.